Welcome back to the Pink Pyramid, everyone. I am the Warrior Chicken, and this is more One Life to Live, Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past. Um, in the last episode, I don't really remember, because I did a couple weeks ago, so we are just going to try what I think we can do. Namely, I noticed that we can go to... Um, we can go to the Skull Woods, and that would get us the second red crystal, which would provide us with new opportunities. I already have the fire rod, so let's go and check it out. Yeah. So it's been, yeah, it's been a little while since last I played this, so I there are probably many a thing that I've forgotten that I did, so do forgive if I get some things wrong. But, just for a quick refresher, uh, for, for myself, I suppose, because I haven't played in a while, um, yes, this is one life to live, meaning I only have one life to my name. If I die at any point, the game is over. And the goal is to get to the end without perishing at any point. Now, unfortunately for me, all I have right now is one bottle. It has red potion, which is good, but I would love to have a little bit more. I would love to have a fairy. So let's just check if I already did Hype Cave. I don't remember if I did or not. And I probably did, but let's go ahead and find out. I want that. I want that. Nope, not you. I want that. Thank you. Did I already do Hype Cave? Um, no, I didn't. Oh, all right. Well, let's check it out. Awesome. Blip. Ow. <laughs> just got too excited. Hello, sir. What have you for me? A bottle! I was just saying I needed a bottle. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Ba boom. What else do you have for me? A uh, piece of heart. 20 bucks. Three bombs. 20 bucks. Alright, well, the bottle's nice. <laughs> bottle's pretty good. I raided your storehouse, but your bottle's pretty good, so I'll take that. Alright, let us, let us away to, uh to the Skull Woods and see what we can do there. Yes. Now, I do have a lot of advantages already. I've already got the red tunic, which is nice. I've already got the red sword, which is nice. Uh, and I've already got the red shield. I'm very red right now. So, by the power of my redness, I am well protected. However, I must still be careful. Because it's very, very easy to get overconfident in this game. <laughs> Especially if you're used to it, you know, if you... That, that's... I find that that is kind of the way that it goes. Like, if there's a... Oh, wait, I can't go this way. This isn't gonna work. Can I swim? I can swim. Okay, I can't go this way because... I... Would need, um... Do I have the I have the mirror. Oh, okay, well, I can, I can do this. Never mind. I can't go this way. Back we go. <laughs> I was gonna say, I can't go this way because I don't have the second level... The Titan's Mint. Um, but I do have the mirror, so I can use that to get past these deadly rocks in the way. I will pass by them. Oh, and the hello. Back in Watermelon Hyrule. Or cran no, it's Cranberry Hyrule, that's right. Cran uh, Hyrule's main export is cranberries. So yeah, lots and lots of cranberries. So many cranberries. So much cranberry. We Death to you! DEATH TO YOU! Alright, and I believe... I can't go that way because that's where the rock is, but I can go... this way. Have this sign. Have this sword. Have more of these things. Apples! Yay! It's always the weirdest thing that they have apples, isn't it? Like... It's just kind of like a... Why was this included kind of thing? I mean, it's a cool thing to find that every once in a while you'll find a, a, a tree that drops apples, or, or sometimes that trees that drop bees. But it's just kind of like, why make an entire sprite of apples if it's only ever used in that one instance? Seems very odd. In we go. <laughs> Alright, now we shall enter the Skull Woods. See what we can find within. Dun da ba dum bum bum ba ba da bum bum bum. I always really like this song. Like the original Death Mountain song. It was really cool. Ba da 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 da. What is down here, Lala? Oh, hello, sir. How are you? 
He's like, I was hiding in that bush. You destroyed my home. I lived there. Eh. All right. Uh, da 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 da. Then here. Ow, there's spikes. But uh. Can't do anything there yet. Da da. But uh. But uh. Winnie. Da 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 da. Da da. That'll be useful later. It's not useful at the moment. What are you? A key. All right, that's fine. Take that. All right. What's in here? What's in here, then? Oh, this is this room. This is the room that I like. I remember for a long time. Like, I remember at some point being like stuck, not remembering this room or something. And so this room kind of stands out in my head. Oh, that's what it was. I think the first time I ever did a randomizer, this was like the bow or something. It was something extremely important. And I had just kind of forgotten that this room existed. And I think I had already finished uh, Skull Woods. And so, like, I was just completely stuck because I couldn't find the bow. And it was just in that room. Whatever. Minor thing, but... It's funny how you forget things in this game. Oh, I don't have half magic yet. That's a bit of an issue. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh. Hey, man. Duh. Bear. All right, what are you? I think that's the treasure chest that has the one rupee in it in the original game. Because I know at some point in the game there is a chest that only has one rupee in it, and I think that's it. Alright, cool. I got it. <laughs> got that, uh... Got that piece of heart. That's nice. Fudge. Okay, well, I don't need to be here. This is a very blue dungeon. I kind of like it. I like the colors. Like, I like the color scheme of the original Skull Woods, because it's very, like, earth tony, and, you know, it looks like. It looks like a, a dungeon that was buried underground for a long time. But this blue one is kind of nice, too. It's like a, it's a pretty cerulean blue, which is my favorite color of blue. I'm very happy with it. the lovely blue shade. Ow! Da, da, ba, ba, ba. <laughs> Didn't know what to do. Alright, what's over here? See you later. Oh, wait. That's not helpful. It's not helpful at all. Huh? Is there nothing else for me to do? I thought there was another way I could go up here. No? Hmm. Da -da 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 -da. I have a key. I have a key. Which means I can open a door somewhere. Yeah, I can open a door somewhere. Let's explore some more. Never mind then. Bam. Bam. Get you out of here. Da -da 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 -da. Inside we go. Oh no, this is the area I was thinking about. Bloop. I know you're gonna I know you're gonna come. Come on. There it is. It's like, I know that there is a wall master somewhere in here. Wall masters in this game are kind of strange, aren't they? They're, they're ceiling masters. They're not wall masters in this game. They're just ceiling masters. It seems very odd. It seems very odd, that. Eh, whoop. Eh, pulling. There we go. Great. Got the map. Oh no! No! Ah! No! I, I, I'm feeble! I'm a feeble human form! No! Get it away! Okay, good. I reverted to my feeble human form. Oh, God. Un un unacceptable. <laughs> it's unacceptable. Can you bomb this wall? There. Oh, I should have just. I should have just checked. It was dumb. Oh! Yes, you can. Yes? 
All right, I'll take it. Sure. Bam. Is that the first time we've seen the, uh, this, uh, this Mo Sprite's, um, rabbit form? I think it is, because I got, I got the Moon Pearl really early, right? I believe that's the first time we've gotten to see it. Fun. Fun. It is my feeble human form. Yes. Incapable of properly defending itself. Don't you know? All right, well, um, we've got the fire rod, obviously, so I can go, I can go up here already. Bleh. This thing looks very Metroid-y, doesn't it? It looks like a Metroid monster. All right, see you later. <laughs> see you later, bro. I got other things to do. Da -da -dun -da. Yeah, ba -ba 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 -ba. So I think I mentioned it before, I played a, um, I play... Was it? No, I, I was gonna say. I, no, it was. <laughs> Sorry, that probably didn't make much sense. Um, I played a inverted randomizer version of this game um, not too terribly long ago, and in it, I got a lot of like uh, magical items very early. Like I got double magic, and I got like the f the fire rod, and like all these other useful magical items, and I had no sword. So I have a real affection for the fire rod nowadays. <laughs> it was a long period of time in that game where I didn't have anything but... Oh, this is a useless room. There's no point to coming here. Nuts, I don't, I don't need to be here. Boo. Alright, well, whatever. I'm leaving. See y'all later. <laughs> it's just like a refill room or something. Not very helpful. Well, we still don't have the, uh... I actually, I think I probably got used to using the fire rod in parallel worlds, thanks to that the the high recharge or like the high uh, MP regen rate in that game. One of the, one of the few things they did right in that game was making it so that magical items were really valuable. I um, you know, I think the first game that I encountered that kind of made me really want to use magic liberally like that was FF12. Because it had a regenerating MP, or had regenerating MP, and uh, it kind of makes it worth it to use magic. So, I really think pretty highly of games that include regenerative MP. So it just makes you more enthusiastic about great twenty bucks. Makes you more enthusiastic about just using your stuff. Oh no, my my feeble human form! No, no, get it away! Get it away! Okay, good. I'm so feeble when I'm human. Much better as a chicken. Oh, yes. After all, that is my name. The Moe Chicken. Or Mo. Mo the Chicken. <laughs> but I'm also very Moe, right? So very Moe. I've heard that the word Moe um, refers to... Uh, or, like, I think the word Moe's, like... Uh, Root is uh, moiru, moreo, moero, which is a word for burning. And I think the idea is that things that are moe kind of, you know, light your fire, so to speak. I think that's where the association comes from. Not sure, but I believe that's the case. Bam, bam. Well, now, wait a minute. We never found the big key here. And I'm running out of treasure chests. Alright, go out. There we go. Are there any treasure chests left in this dungeon? No! No! Don't do it! No! My feeble human form! Curses! Curses! Ah! Okay, good. Ha! I found the secret. Oh, I'm also missing a key. All right, well... Oh, and one of these enemies drops a key. Never mind. Is the boss gonna have... <laughs> Is the boss gonna have the big key and I'm gonna have to, like, come back into the dungeon? That's gonna be silly. All right, um... Yeah, but I have no MP. Is a problem. Is the problem. I have no MP. And I need to fight, and this is a boss that primarily forces you to use 
fire attacks on it. Or at the very least, it is more vulnerable to fire attacks. Because it's a moth. That's not going to be enough. Alright, grab me. Bye. See you later. <laughs> Get back outside. I gotta find some more MP. Let's see. Does this work on you? No, it just kills you. Nuts! Alright, we're gonna find some MP. Great. Maybe here? Maybe here? Maybe here? No. Maybe maybe here? No. Maybe here? No. Maybe here? No. Okay. <laughs> okay. Got it. Got it. Okay. Because I gotta be careful. Like, if there's an advantage to be had, I need to press that advantage. So the fact that you can use fire to great effect against this boss means I should use fire to great effect against this boss. Um. Yeah. Yeah, do 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 do. That's right, there's a recharge room right here. What is this? So we can get some, uh... Oh, nice. Alright, um... Well... Uh, waiting. There you go. Get me out of here! Doggone it. Okay, there we go. You take my heart, I take your heart. That's how this goes. So I'm sure I asked this already, but for people out there who play Link to the Past, do you tend to use the boomerang as your default, like, as your default enemy uh, striking weapon, or do you use the hookshot? I tend to use the hookshot. Um, I don't know if it's just because you get it later, or what the rationale is, but that's the one that I tend to use. Um, but honestly, the uh, the boomerang's a lot more versatile, so I could kind of see either one. Get out of it, you! Uh, 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 go, die, death, 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 death. <laughs> yelling death. Death, 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 death. Do you believe me yet? Death, death, death. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Ow. Whoa. Oh, that was the previous door closing. I'm like, what door did I open by doing that? No? Alright. It's kind of hoping I get a little bit more magic. I know this almost always has magic in it, yeah. Down we go. Alright, hello. I, I want to say this monster's name is just Mothra. I think its name is just Mothra. Gotcha. See you later, bro. Thanks for the big key. <laughs> he didn't want anyone to take his treasure, so he kept the kept the key with himself. It makes sense. Cool. All right, well, let's go back and see what the dungeon treasure is, and that will be it for this episode. We will have completed Skull Woods, another dungeon down without another death. Hooray! Um, but first, I have to get back there. So let's go back. Let's go back. Hello, octopus monster. You shell-headed octopus monster. You make sense from an evolutionary standpoint. He's like, thank you. I'm glad you think so. 
My mother always said I had great evolution. Alright, and the big exciting treasure is prop actually now that I think about it, it's gonna be the compass. It's gonna be the compass. Isn't it? I think that's the only thing I haven't gotten in this dungeon. Are you the compass? Let, <laughs> uh, let me see. Compass! Yep. Alright. I'm the war chicken. This is one life to live. Legend of Zelda. Link to the past. Got the compass. Hooray. <laughs>